Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Trina. If this is your first time here, welcome. We gonna go ahead and jump straight into this video. So today I am using this Tatcha Dewy Luminous Mask on my face. This actually came in my January Boxy Charm, I believe. So this is me taking it out right here. It's actually pretty messy, but this mask works wonders, okay? I love this mask. Just look at it. It is so messy. Why gotta be that messy though? Okay, guys, as you can see here, I'm just making sure that the mask is properly on my face, making sure there's no folded parts. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cell phone and I'm going to set the timer per the packaging. Guys, per the packaging, it says to set for 15 minutes and leave on your face for 15 minutes. So I set my timer and we're going to let this sit. Alrighty, the 15 minutes is up and now it's time for me to take off the mask and as you can see my skin already looks or appears brighter. This stuff feels so good like rubbing it into your skin. It just feels so good. It's like a cooling effect but it just feels so good and it makes your skin look so good under your makeup. Like if you apply this mask before you do your makeup girl i'm telling you it looks so good so i went ahead and did my brows off camera we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into these eyes today i am using the mac book from the crown case if you guys don't already know i love the crown case so we're going to get into doing these eyes okay guys so i already primed my eyes with concealer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this pinky shade right here from the matte book and i am going to apply this basically all over my crease and into my lid a little bit now guys this is a very simple beginner friendly valentine day look so who wants to be all extra and dramatic on valentine's day when there's already so much going on you just want to make your makeup as simple as possible so your man don't gotta wait for you so you can just get it done and go okay so i'm just applying this packing this on getting the color really pigmented with my morphe 507 brush and just packing that in my crease Okay, now that we got that pink color on there, we're going to go in with a transition shade, which I'm going to use this lighter pink shade to actually blend out the deeper pink shade. So we are going to go ahead and apply that on top of the shade, blend it out, and also use this as a transition color. Okay guys, so this this look requires a lot of blending. Just in general, eyeshadow requires a lot of a lot of blending. I'm going for more of a gradient look. So you have to blend a lot. Okay. Blending is key to getting your eyeshadow looking good. It's time consuming, but it will be worth it in the finishing product. You heard me? Oh child, blending is my cardio, you hear me? Now we're going to go on with this Tarte eyeshadow palette, which also came in my January Boxy Charm. It is Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3, and I am going to go in with this shimmery, champagne-y looking color, and I'm just going to apply this with my finger, my index finger, all over my lid. Now we got that lid color, the shimmery color all over our lid. I'm going to take that same blender brush with no extra product on it. And I'm just going to blend the pink shade into the lid color just so there's no, you know, separation or anything like that. Remember, guys, blend like your life depends on it. Now I'm going to take that same pink shade the darker the darker the deeper pink shade and i'm gonna apply this to my lower lash line and i'm just gonna pack this on so the color can be extremely pigmented okay guys the eyes are done it's time to move on to face and if for those of you that don't know, I have dry skin. So what I am going to take focus camera is my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I am going to put this all over my 
face and just rub it in. Then I'm gonna go in with this NYX Photo Love and Studio Perfect Primer. The NYX Primer is more so for to hydrate. This primer is more so to give my face a smooth canvas. So I'm gonna put this on my face and I'm also going to rub it in. Now that we got our primers done, it's time for foundation. And I like to mix my foundations just because I'm like five different colors. So today I am going to be using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is in Cognac. Um, I believe it's Y505, which equals 177. I'll have everything listed down in the description down below. And I like to take this one and apply it to the outer parts of my face. And for the remainder, I am going in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Brulee. And I am just going to apply this to the remainder parts of my face where I didn't apply the makeup forever. So like up under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, my chin. And I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend this foundation together. Blend it out all over my face. Okay guys, now it's time for concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal um, True Pro Glow. It's the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer in number three, new beige. And I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes and then I'm gonna blend it out. Moving on to contour, I'm going to take the Contortionist Notebook by the Crown Case. And I am going to go in and I'm going to use the color Bricky at first to kind of sculpt my face. And then I'm going to go in with another to contour. To contour, I'm going with a darker, darker brown shade, which is Bobbi. And what I like to do when I contour is I like to pat it in first just to get the darkness or the pigmentation up. And I like to pat it in first and then I go in with a circular motions with the brush to blend it out. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna set our face with the Airspun Translucent Loose Face Powder. You can get this from Walmart for I believe five or six bucks. I know it's under $10. As you can see here, I blow off the powder a little bit before applying it to my face. I'm gonna apply it where I normally would crease, which is under my eyes and around the side of my mouth. Now I do blow the excess powder off just because I do have dry skin and a lot of powder with a dry skin is a no-go. You will be looking at casket ready. So if you have dry skin, just be careful. Now to carve out my contour and make it extra sharp, I'm going to take that same translucent powder and I'm just going to draw the line with the powder up under my contour just to clean up any messiness and to get it looking extra sharp. Okay guys, now after I contour my nose, which you can see I already did, I just basically use the same method that I do with my face, a lighter to sculpt, a darker to contour. After I contour, I like to go in and I like to highlight the bridge of my nose and my forehead just so it can be highlighted. <laughs> Hey guys, now it's time to dust away that translucent powder up under my contour and you want to go in with the powder that's closer to your skin tone just so you won't have any flashback or ashiness. And I normally go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finished Powder in dark just to dust it, oh, dust it, to dust it away. <laughs> Time for my favorite part, highlighting. I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter by Amrezy. And I am going to highlight my face, which is the highest points on my cheek, my nose, my pubic bow, my chin, and my forehead. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, guys, the light at the end of the tunnel is near. We're moving on to lips. I'm going to line my lips with my favorite lip liner by Giordana and Coco Loco. I get this one from Old Walgreens. I believe they're about two or three bucks. They have pretty good eyeliners. If you guys haven't tried them out, looking for inexpensive good ones, these would be perfect. And then I'm going to go in with some clear gloss that I just got from the beauty supply store. And I'm just going to put that into the center of my lips before I apply my actual lip gloss. I find that this gives it a really natural shimmery look. As you can see here, I'm cleaning up my liner to make sure that each side of my lips match. Because one always looks higher than the other. For gloss, I'm going in with my favorite lip gloss by NYX or NYX, however you say it. It's their lingerie gloss and shy. Their lingerie glosses are bomb. Do you hear me? Hey guys, now it's time to set the face. I'm covering my eyes because I just applied my bottom mascara and I don't want it to smudge. So set the face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and we're just going to fan the face till it's dry. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Until my next one, deuces.